Hello everyone, welcome to Blush Blush. Now uh, this this particular episode is very very special because I have a very very beautiful and a very very happy person today in my studio where we will be asking some questions which are related to beauty. Now what is beauty and uh, how can we look beautiful? There are so many questions which actually keeps bothering us. So uh, she's a happiness coach. Her name is Hina Sharma and she will be telling all the details about how to look beautiful. So let's start the episode with a big bang. So friends, here she is and uh, Hina, would you like to tell a little bit about yourself to all the people who are watching you? Sure, Dia. Hello everyone, my name is Hina Sharma. I am a Chief Happiness Officer at www.hopeandhappinesscoach.com. I am a happiness coach, as you said. Um, it's an interesting title and people <laughs> always ask what is the secret of happiness and you know um, are beautiful people happy or are happy people beautiful? <laughs> wow, yeah exactly even I was thinking what exactly you know a happiness coach they do that was a very very big question I I asked you that many times <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah so um, uh, in happiness coaching we figured out what are the areas that people want to work on it could be their career it could be their self-image it could be relationships and what is that they need to work on to create that ultimate happiness into their life. And once they achieve their goals, they start feeling more happy, they start enjoying life and uh, not only make themselves happy, but make others around them happy as well. Wow, that's a very, very, very big thing which she is doing, actually making our planet happy place. So yes, so we can say thank you for that thing. So let's start the episode with many, many questions. So Hina, my first question is, what is the definition of beauty? Uh, I think every individual will have a different definition. For me, uh, beauty is what is within, is what reflects outside. If you are happy within, your happiness will reflect outside. If you are sad or irritated or not happy about things around you, it will reflect on your face and on your gestures, no matter how much you try to cover it with external things. Exactly, it is something like a very, very beautiful girl and without a smile on her face, with a grumpy face, right? Nobody would like to talk to that person. So what, what else can, you know, uh, let, let's take a situation, okay? Mm -hmm. The situation is there are a lot of responsibilities, there are a lot of hurdles of life, there are so many things which actually bothers us from inside. So what is your opinion? Like how would you say that you have, you can be happy? See, challenges are there in our day-to-day -day life, there is no doubt about it. The main thing is how we deal with those challenges. One of the important tools that we do during our coaching sessions and our workshops is talking about gratitude. There are challenges, let's say there are five things that are going wrong right now in your present moment in this life, but also there are 10 other things which are going good. It could be that you are having a problem with your career, but you are having a better relationship. It could be that you are having a problem in your relationship, but you're having a good health. So what is that which is good in your life? Appreciate those moments, appreciate those things and find that serene calm within. And once you will be calm within, you will be smiling and that smile will be the beauty that will reflect outside. Wow, that's a brilliant answer. So as you know, I always talk about beauty, makeup stuff. Right. Okay. So if you do not do makeup, can you still look beautiful? That's what you're saying? <laughs> That's a very good question, Dia. So, uh, yes, you can look beautiful even without makeup. No matter what your age is, no matter what your color is, no matter how your skin is, no matter what your weight is. If you are happy within, that happiness, that light will reflect out of you. And it will just make you so beautiful. Each one of us is unique. Each one of us is just completely unique in its own way. Is there any other Dia in this world? <laughs> Is there any other henna? Similarly, there is no other you. You are completely beautiful just the way you are. If you want to put makeup, if you want to put some attire that feels good to you, go ahead and do that. It will make you even more beautiful. But you are completely beautiful just the way you are. So I would say that uh, both the things go hand in hand. Like uh, you have to look presentable, mm -hmm. right, by doing makeup. But at the same time, if you are if you are happy, you you will look double beautiful, right? <laughs> you will look beautiful when you are happy. Now it depends uh, what trend you want to follow. Um, when you follow the magazines or the advertisements or the trends, you are uh, trying to become something that you're not. May connect more with yourself. 
If some attire looks good on you, go for that no matter whether it's in trend or not. Because it looks good on you, because you feel comfortable in it, you should go for that and that will make you look beautiful. If some, let's say, um, without you know liner somebody looks good, she should not put liner just because the world says so. If her eyes are so beautiful, let her be like that. Or if somebody only feels good with liner, then again, it's her choice and she should definitely go ahead and put it because that's what she likes. So connect with what you like, what you feel comfortable within and that's what will reflect outside. You will not take somebody else's opinion. You will be who you truly are. Thank you so much, Anna. So friends, let's forget the pain and learn how exactly can we be more happy? Can we be more comfortable in whatever we are doing? So let's, let's ask her a little more about happiness. When, you know, it's a very, very good opportunity because it was very difficult to get her here to my studio. I think I am wait, I waited for almost one year. Okay, so so let's, uh, you know, encash this opportunity and ask her a couple of more things. So a very, very important question, Hina, that how can we feel confident all the time? Sometimes, you know, there are situations where we get nervous, right? Before the exam, before the interview, or can be any situation. So how, what is your definition? What would you say that how can we be confident? See, um, confidence is your experiences. When you overcome hurdles, when you achieve, you gain self-confidence. Now, what happens is, when you love yourself completely, when you love, accept your qualities, as well as your imperfections, you're loving yourself honestly, and then that is your confidence. You know these are my qualities and these are my imperfections, and you love it completely. No, no one is perfect amongst each one of us. There are some things which are not in me, but in you, there are some things in you which are not in me. When we accept that, we are fully confident no matter what the situation is. Okay, so very, very good answer. One more question which is coming to my mind is that sometime in the family, we all love each other. Everybody, like parents, they love their kids, okay? Kids, they love their parents. But sometimes, you know, if I have a, let's say, dark complexion, right? Now the parents in India, they're basically worried about how would we marry this girl because she looks actually very dark mm -hmm. because a lot of clients you know a lot of subscribers my subscribers my people they ask me that i don't look beautiful because my color is not white mm -hmm. okay so somewhere i would say the families also make them realize so what is your opinion or what would you like to say to the families mm -hmm. that don't do this or like how would you say that right to everyone i would like to give this message that when you love yourself completely you're able to accept others more completely. When you love your own color, when you love your own skin, when you love your own body shape, you judge others less. And that is what is important. Each one of us is unique. Each one of us is beautiful. And when we accept our, ourselves first, we can accept others. Beautifully answered. Thank you so much. I think mo uh, many people have got the answer. You know, there are, there are people, they actually write. They say that we want the color like you. They feel that I can actually make people uh, fair mm -hmm. okay and they end up using steroids they uh, play with the skin okay and some people they get bad reactions because of steroids so that's a very very good answer that yeah. we have to look uh, beautiful and we have to be confident and we should be proud that's what you want to say right, right. that we should be proud of whatever we are right be it any shape any color or wherever we are from we have to be confident right and when you love yourself others love you too when you criticize yourself i am fat that's what you're projecting that's what you're shying about and that's what world will talk about when you feel i am good just the way i am people around you will get those vibes and they will also feel good about you so this is a message to all the family members that encourage your kids. Do not talk about color, do not talk about anything which you think, you know, they are inferior in or they, uh, you know, they should be very beautiful, this, blah, blah, blah. Don't talk about all that thing. Just ensure whatever you have to feel proud of that thing. First, to love yourself. And so that you can love your kids, your family, your neighbors, your society even more. So when you accept yourself, you accept everyone. To all the parents, appreciate your kid for who they are, for whatever they are good at. They may be good at some skills and they may be improving in others. So appreciate what's good in them. That will build their self-confidence, that, that will make them a better human being. Because this is the age where they form exactly. their beliefs and they grow up to an adult who love themselves or who shy away from, you know, uh, media situations or situations stuff. or get conscious about their image, their pictures. So if we inculcate this habit 
of you are beautiful just the way you are. You are unique. That will make them feel they are unique and they are here on this planet to make a difference. Oh, brilliant answer. <laughs> So yes, there is lots and lots of learning in this entire episode. What we have spoke about kids, okay, adults, and we have, we, we I think we spoke about all the age groups, right? Okay, uh, like for the kids, we have to encourage them. We have to show them their quality. That's what is my take today. Yes. And be confident in whatever you're doing. Whatever you do, just smile and be happy. Makeup can make you look presentable, but understand that if you are confident mm -hmm. and if you are happy, you can do anything on the earth, right? Uh, yes, absolutely. The other beauty uh, comes from within. It's an old proverb where they say the beauty is within. Um, yes. What does that mean? Is there is uh, if you are a kind-hearted person, if you are a good person, you anyways look very beautiful. Exactly. Um, exactly. You see anybody who is very kind, who is very generous, no matter what their age is, no matter what their skin color is. She, she, she's talking, talking about me. <laughs> I'm sorry, continue. <laughs> okay. So, when you love yourself, you look beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, so uh, this is what actually I wanted to make you all understand because what is happening, I've been getting a lot and lots of questions related to my color is this and uh, motivation where it will come from yes very good question one last question sure. that what is what do you mean by motivation where it exactly comes from is it in my stomach or in my neck or like how do we get motivated <laughs> you get motivated when you have something to feel proud of for example if you feel that i am not good enough to fit into my class or my society or my office due to some reasons you will not feel like getting up out of your bed and going for your work school college but if you feel motivated enough that i am good enough just the way i am i am perfect you will get up and you will start the day with the sentence i am perfect today is a perfect day and that will bring a smile on your face and that calmness that sereneness will reflect in you when you do your day-to-day -day activities when you go out you will not only be more accepting by others you will accept yourself first Wow. So I would say that nobody can motivate you. You need to motivate yourself, right? <laughs> so understand, understand. This is a very big thing she said that we need to motivate ourselves. Okay. So we need to understand that we are born beautiful because God has given us everything to feel proud of. Okay. We can see, we can feel, we can, you know, do whatever we want to do. So thank you so much, Hina. I think you have answers most of the Thank questions you. and uh, we would love to see you in future again with some other topic Thank you so but much. right now it was like um, thank you so much I can say that's 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 it thank you so much it is uh, my purpose to reach out to more people and tell them uh, that they can be happy they can be beautiful just the way they are just simple tools simple techniques feel a feeling of gratitude appreciating what they have meditation all these things help them wow. to connect themselves more and that's my way of reaching out to everyone and telling them that they can be beautiful, they can be happy and the world can be a better place. So friends, what I will be doing is I will be leaving the details of Hena Sharma in the description which is underneath this video. In case you feel that you know you need a little bit of motivation from somebody so uh, you can contact her because she's actually a happiness coach. She uh, deals with day to day you know whatever hurdles we uh, have in the life or if you know it is like I would say that she's a kind of friend we will say not a happiness coach. A friend you can share anything with her okay and she will not go ahead and tell that 10 different people so you know you need that ear to listen so she is that person and uh, she can help you in some way in, in case if you're you having any kind of problem with the relationship right yes. or anything you want uh, a little bit of motivation or you can contact her so all her details would be there in the description so do read the description as well so uh, for now i'm just closing so signing off now stay tuned to blush blush and the people who have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe you also say that for sure please subscribe <laughs> to our channel and you'll get more motivating and uplifting videos like this in the future absolutely so this is the first uh, collaboration uh, video and I will keep coming up with new videos like this. So thank you for thank watching. You so thank you for that.